Hey you guys, my brain was going crazy last night and I thought how can I change up my bread recipe and my BBB recipe to make it BBB hardcore? Well you guys, come back and see because I'm going to make what I thought up in my head last night because I couldn't sleep. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, cameraman is Harry and our little dog Sally is Sally Schnifferdoodle but we call her Sally Girl. How is everybody doing today? You know, uh, for those of you who are new, uh, day before yesterday I had a colonoscopy and I was thinking about it yesterday and I'm going, why am I feeling so poorly? Well, first of all, I had to, to take eight ounces of Miralax granules, which is a whole container, I think it was like 289 grams, in a gallon of water on a basically empty, except for water, coffee, and herbal tea stomach <clears throat> from two days. And that stuff, that polyglycine, propyl, poly, polypropylene glycol stuff, it's gotta be bad on your system. Even though it's coming out, it's got to be bad on your system. Plus the anesthesia can stay with your body. You, it takes a while for you to get that out. So I was thinking about that yesterday. Drinking all that water, I felt so bloated. And I feel bloated still today. I'm bloated. I feel that way. I drank all that fluids and everything. Um, I was supposed to take it with Gatorade and I couldn't being keto so I told him I had electrolytes and he told me I needed to drink those three times uh, during the day um, because of everything going through that's why they want you to drink Gatorade I guess he has never read the letter label of Gatorade before but it's not all it's cracked up to be that's for sure and I can't drink the dietary Gatorade because it has aspartame and those I am highly allergic to so anyway I'm giving myself some grace even though I got on the scale this morning and was very disappointed, yes I was. I'm not going to pee, play pity patty, poor me, because I know that it is. I know that it is the feeling that I have, the bloatiness that I have, my tightness in my hands and my feet this morning, swelling. Um, I know it's because my body went through shock. They removed two things. They cauterized that area, so my body is in a little bit of a shock state. Inflammation's going to be there. Yes, indeed. So I'm just moving on and giving myself grace, and I'm going to insert. It really has affected my glucose and ketones, and it's affected Harry's too, since he had his the week prior to mine, five days, seven days apart. I just think it takes the time. So we're gonna insert that here. It's finger licking finger time. It's finger licking time or finger picking time? No, finger -picking pricking time. time, finger pricking time. You guys, we're getting ready to take Harry to his other doctor appointment with the urologist. That's where he's going this morning. That hurt, nothing. Did you put a new one on in here? I did everything, I just, I pulled everything out and. Put it in. Change it out if you don't like it. 0 0.4, you guys. I'm going to give myself grace because of my test. Well, I did. Because there's no reason unless it's the higher protein on the BBBE that's doing it. Really, we're not eating much different. I know. Maybe you need to bring sweets back in. No. Oh my gosh, 136, what is Point going four. on? Okay, I want another one of these. I mean, 136, hello. Well, I haven't been the same since, so. I've been off a few. Yeah, you're off. <laughs> Look at that, 101. What? Yeah. I'm gonna do it again. No! What? You're cleaning up too soon. 116, I'll take that better, you guys. Okay, you guys, that's it. We'll come back in the next segment. And you guys, Florida, it looks like 
I don't even know. It's it's worse than a bomb. I mean, they there are buildings that are absolutely gone. They've disappeared. The road has disappeared. The water. Our hearts and prayers go out yeah, well, to we every got, we single got, person. Uh, we got a family back in that. We area. have relatives back there, and yeah. all of the YouTubers that live back there, and you all that live there. You know, whenever I hear of a tornado or a hurricane or or a bad winter storm or any of those things, I think about all the people and the loved ones that we have. So you guys saying prayers and keeping my thoughts for any of you who are in harm's way down there. And if you guys send me an email, if you're down there and you're having a hard time with anything, please, please reach out to me. You can send me an instant messenger. You can send me an email because I'd love to be able to talk with you and just show that we're here to support you. Absolutely, 100%. I know that Joe and Rachel, Two Crazy Ketos are down there. Melanie Hines missed it. She got some of the rain and the wind, but she didn't get hit. I know um, Dr. Boss is down there now. I'm not sure where she is. And there are a whole bunch of viewers that live down in Florida. I have a friend that I grew up with in California that moved down there a couple of years ago and she's in a mobile home park and I'm trying to figure out where she lives. She lives 180 miles from um, Key West so I'm very worried about her and have not seen anything come up on Instagram or Facebook or any of those things. I have another friend, Mike, that lives down there, you know, and haven't seen or heard or any, seen any right. postings. Exactly. We have a lot of people down there, including relatives, oh, yeah. that we have not heard from. So I just wanted to share that with everybody because I know I showed my little windstorm that we had here and everything, and I was not belittling the hurricane in Florida at all. It's it just absolutely. weird that all this weather is freaking out right now. And it is because yeah. we are supposed to, our official end, official end of the monsoon season was like Monday and then we have this huge windstorm. But, you know, I just wanted to share that with everybody because I am uh, very concerned about the people and, and I just didn't even, I don't even know how do they, the boats piled up. How do you even untangle the boats to get them into the water? How do you do that so you know it sounds like governor DeSantis has a good plan in place and then they're working as hard as they can with FEMA and everything else but please reach out to me if you are hit and you have any issues or any problems please reach out to us if you can I know internet's down phones are down you know all those things are down but if you can and you need help you need somebody to talk to please 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 email me or instant message me and I'll be more than happy to talk with you and and just be there for you for support so I just wanted to share that Harry and I did we yep. just wanted to yep. share that I'm bring that mm -hmm. up because it's kind of important it is very important because it's going to be Florida has been changed forever it's going to take years and years for them to even get through the rebel part of it. Two hundred billion dollars. Not even, you know, trying to find the people that are missing, trying to figure out the logistics is just I can't even imagine the nightmare that it is. Looking at buildings that floated away, boats that floated away, um, houses that, you know, landed on somebody else's property, all these weird things that happened in horrible devastation down there. Anyway, you guys, um, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, I'm bloated today. I'm giving myself grace. Yes, I got on the scale because I said I would weigh in every day in the BBBE hardcore diet, and I did. Now, I'm not beating myself up because I know why. Just yesterday, I think I was more emotional yesterday, yeah. and I think it was from everything that I went through, procedure-wise. Sure. Um, today, I'm just looking at it and saying, hmm, okay. So, Wendy, you went up. Harry, there's no such thing as five tenths. How, what? I don't know. What, just go on with it. <laughs> I don't know where the five tenths came. I well, weighed, it's half of ten. Well, I am. there is a five tenth. I weighed 185.0 on the nose, you guys. That would be a and half a pound. And that was 184.8 here. Five tenths is a half Harry, a pound. This was 184.8. Oh, I screwed up all over the place. Harry's in charge of the board. Yes, he is. And he just... You know what? Maybe he, I shouldn't be in charge vacation. of the board anymore. Maybe you should take it over My because handwriting I'm not pretty. doing well. My handwriting isn't pretty, but I'm going to fix this because I don't need a 5 tenths. I just need... Not, not that I'm already 185. That's a 185-0. I've got proof. Oh. <laughs> 
So you're a pound over? Am I, was no, I, was I close no. about that? Well, get no. rid of the pound. No, wait a minute. I was 184.8. I went up to eight, two, now you have me doing it. I went up to 185. So I went up two tenths. Yes. Okay, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> you should see him, you guys. Don't do that, I saw that, Harry. Oh, Marty, you're just being silly. Anyway, you guys, so here's the deal. I ordered some, I already showed you my pirate ones, but I ordered some. Oh um, yeah, these are cool. I, I'm so glad you got this size because this is my favorite size. I am size. so ready for those eggnog. Oh man. And those, um, We're gonna have, it was can eggnog. You, can, you, can you make them for Halloween night? That's the 31st and we can have them on the 31st. <gasps> the phone, saved by the bell. No caller ID. Oh, okay. Then forget about it. Um, Let it and ring. Jim, my buddy Jim, said get these. These are great and they're a great size. So I did this. He made yeah, his fat bombs big. and these. So let me go. Let me go. Tell the phone to shh. Hold It'll on. stop in a minute. It's okay. Or not. I told her to stop. I was talking about these and Harry interrupted me and then the phone interrupted me and my brain just went Eggnog, eggnog, and what were the other flavor that I did? Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice was good caramel, too, man. Cream cheese bites. Oh, those are all. Oh, you guys. Of course she does them right before we do the BBBE. Yeah, so we got so to I enjoy can't them. Have we got to enjoy them. We got to enjoy them, but I am going to make some more of the butter ones. She did it on purpose, plain, man. I'm telling you. Plain butter. The plain butter ones. She sits around going, how can I make this man suffer? Don't you? Sure. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I am the meanest person in the whole wide world, man. Telling you. Anyway, you guys. I've got these. I'm all ready. Now, here's another thing. I was so excited. Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. I was so excited to make the butt bacon butter mayonnaise. But we're hardcore. I can't have you apple can't even cider make vinegar. And I can't have French's yellow mustard. Ugh. Because that's what you need to make the mayonnaise. And now, listen, I got in trouble for eating the grass-fed beef Teton. Um, I didn't get mad at you. No, but a viewer reminded me that I said I wasn't going to eat. I was going to be super clean, super simple. And I had those yesterday. Or, yeah, was that yesterday? So, I'm going to take them out of here. I'm going to stick them in the freezer. I'm not throwing them away. I'm not throwing away anything. I'm not. And the ingredients that are in them is the natural curing. The celery and the other, uh, the cherry and stuff is what they use instead of actually curing them. But you're right, I said I wasn't gonna have any, so I'm not. So I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them in the freezer. So here they are. Harry had some, I guess. Two, so there's five in here. They're going in the freezer. I had one. Isn't that what we had the other day? Or well, that's what I had in my eggs. I think you had one when I came home from my colonoscopy because I wanted to go to bed and you were hungry. And I said, go ahead and have whatever you can find in the refrigerator. And that's what he had. Oh, so, I remember that Okay. Now. I, I remember that I now. have been called on it and I absolutely said that's what I was going to do. So, that's what I'm doing now. Bad, Wendy. Bad. Bad, Wendy. Bad. Harry, be nice. But I'm really pumped about the mail. I'm gonna have to make the mayo, but I can't make it this month. Maybe we'll transition to just BB, B and E for um, November and add stuff, you know? And then I can add the Well, you can make it early and then keep it in the refrigerator, right? That way everybody can see how that it's made. That way Harry can sneak in in the middle of the night and dip his pork rinds in it, yeah? Mm, no. I wouldn't do anything like that. No, you wouldn't. I would never. You and Sally pork never rind do bandits. That. Never, ever. Never. never. You and Sally. You won't even let me never, have pork rinds. Never rob the pork rinds. Never. <laughs>
or Scottish eggs. I yeah. Guess we call them. They're Scotch eggs. I call them Scottish eggs. Yeah. But yeah. Whatever they are, they're delicious, and they just need to be reheated. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is the one I couldn't eat last night. Like very so. large land fries. Lamb fries. Yeah. That's yes. What I said. Calf fries. Most folks just don't seem to have a taste for testicles no more. Testicles? Yes, ma'am. Sheep balls. Anybody watch the Chevy Chase movie with those? those yeah, are, that was funny. Yeah, it was cute. Anyway, you guys, this is what we're having. Leftovers. Yeah, I want two, okay? Yes, and then once we're done eating, I'm going to have you guys come back because I am going to make a hardcore BBBE bread. Yes, I am. Yes, I am indeed. Hey, you guys. Boy, are we full from that scotch eggs. They were so good. So good. So delicious, you guys, I'm telling you. Really, really good. Now, I am gonna make the simplest form of any of my breads. There are all kinds of gurus out there that have taken the protein sparing modified fast bread to a whole new level, and the queen of breads, Indigo Nelly, you know, Anita Ketogenic Woman, myself, you know, Janet Greta, we've all experimented and we've all found what works best for us, which one we like. And, and Nelly's still working at it, man. She's going to town. But I have found that I love my buttermilk bread the best. And then I like my BBBE bread made with um, the beef soup base keto chow. However, I am making the most simplest form of bread that I have ever made. And I hope that it turns out because it's got five ingredients and one of the ingredients is water. I basically am taking out everything but the absolute basics. And I'm going to add the magic butter that uh, Neely added to her breads. And then all of us took that and added it to ours and came up with other recipes too. So thank you so much, Neely, for continuously revamping, renewing, redoing your recipes and bringing them to a whole new level for the entire community. So I truly appreciate that. I tried to look to see if she did this recipe. I don't think she did. I don't think, I don't think Anita from Ketogenic Woman did it. I don't think that Janet Greta has done that either. But like I said, we have all been experimenting. So I'm going to do this and hopefully um, it turns out. But I am a crazy experimentation person in the kitchen. So this is what I am not doing. I am not adding any cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is to stabilize raw eggs as you whip them. Um, I'm not using any raw eggs, so it should be fine. I am not adding any allulose because I don't need any sweetener. I don't need the browning. I am not adding any type of yeast, nutritional yeast, or regular yeast at all. Basically, this is going to be water, egg white protein powder, egg yolks, gelatin, salt, and Kerrygold butter. So, yes, Harry? I have a question. Yes, what's your question? question? What's your question? Um, so, can you brush some butter on the top so it'll be brown? I could if I wanted to, yes. I could also use egg whites if I wanted to, but I don't need it to look brown in order for it to taste good. Oh, Harry wants it brown. He's going, please. How about we do an egg white? We just wipe, wipe some egg on whites top. on them. Yeah, let's see yeah. what happens. We'll do that and see what happens. We'll do that about 10 minutes before it's done. But you guys, so let's get started. I'm going to do my dry ingredients over here in this little bowl. I'm going to use two uh, tablespoons of egg yolk powder. If you don't have egg yolk powder, put two raw egg yolks in at the very, very, very end. I am going to put in one tablespoon of gelatin. I think it adds chewiness to the bread and I don't think that it, it helps it so that it's not so dry. I'm hoping that the added four ounces of frozen butter that I'm going to put in at the end is going to take away the dryness. Now, I'm putting in a half a teaspoon of salt, even though Kerrygold butter has salt in it. I want the saltiness because I don't have anything else for flavor. I've got my water, one and a half cups of water. Yes, indeed. 
Now I could have put the gelatin on top. I probably should have. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to redo this. I'm going to save that for later. Nah, I'll just use it. I'm weird about all of my products and uh, foods that I have. I don't want to um, get rid of anything that I have in my cupboards right now, you guys. I just have a funny feeling that things are going to be gone off the shelf and they're not going to be coming back anytime soon in the near future. And so I'm just keeping what I have. So I need 120 grams of egg white protein powder. This one is the Now brand. I know it's a fine line. Really touchy. You wouldn't think grams would be. Just take it at 20. Be. Yeah, just take, there you go. Just take that. That's good. Well, I'm glad that you're the. Well, you know, I know all these yes, things. Yes, Harry just uh, knows all these tricks. He's learned. He's learned. So I'm just taking my egg powder. What you don't want to do, you can add absolutely everything into the water as long as it's not a fat, such as egg yolks are a fat. Butter is a fat. Um, you can add the gelatin in here. You can add... Um, salt in here I just forgot because I was trying to talk at the same time I just like to mix this up a little bit because I don't want any pieces of styrofoam in here now I'm gonna whip this until it is on high it'll take about five to eight minutes to whip my batter turn it on low <laughs> I'm going to turn it on low. I'm going to add my egg yolk, salt, and gelatin next. And then I'm going to turn this on low, slow and low, and blend this. And then I'm going to put my butter in. So let's put this on low. off bring this out pretty quickly Eric can you take this and put this in the sink for me everything is sticking to gotta wash my hands where's the butter dish You have to get to this pretty quickly because it does start to um, come down and deflate this because of the fat. butter, the fatness, and the rich. But you do want to make sure that it is melted in. Now, it is slightly cream colored, so that helps you get any of the batter that's not mixed in, which is still a white color, because you do not want a streak of styrofoam through your bread, if at all possible. This is pretty, pretty, doing pretty good. I'm surprised. Okay. I mean, this stayed whipped nice, you guys. Mm. So I am really surprised at how well this stayed whipped. 
considering the lack of ingredients that I have in this. Like I said, this one has five super easy ingredients. Five. And that includes water, right? No cream of tartar. No allulose. No sweetener. Oops. My counter has been scrubbed and washed. Don't worry. Gosh, it's all I good. wash it a million times a day. Trust me. Don't we, Harry? Yep. Wash it, spray it. This counter is literally, you could eat off of this counter because I do all my cooking and everything here and I wash in between everything I do. Spray it, wash it, clean it, get it ready for round two. Wow, this is a lot and it's staying uh, very high. I'm amazed at that. Now it's a cranier consistency. Yeah. But it's full of Looks air like it. and it's got great. Um, I think it's going to be a nice height in here. What you want to do with any of your breads, make sure you kind of push it down a little bit. Don't beat it down, but push it down because you do want to get rid of any air bubbles. And with this um, pieces of butter, the potential for getting air bubbles is probably greater. I'm just thinking as, the, as it melts, it can leave a little cavity. So make sure it's pushed in. And try to smooth the top. If you smooth the top and then square the sides, it won't fall over as easily as it does when you don't square the sides. Just kind of make it flat topped. Push that down. And there you have it. Okay, I'm putting this in. Wow, that looks great, you guys. It really does. Let me show it to us. Look at that. Yeah, looks great. Putting this in for 40 minutes. Then I'm going to test it, but 40 minutes is what I do all my breads on, but because of the butter factor, it may um, take a little bit longer. I noticed that with some of the other folks, Anita and Neely, um, have to cook it a little bit longer with the real butter in it. So let me wash this up, wash my counter, and we'll come back when it is bread. You guys, I didn't make brown butter in time to put it in with the bread. But I'm making brown butter enough time to spread on top of my toast or my bread for the BBBE Hardcore Challenge. I wanted it on the bread. Well, that's what I'm making this for. I didn't put it in the bread. Oh, right, okay. I didn't make it in the bread. You gotta hurry up, because gonna be done like real soon. Okay, Harry wants a piece of toast with browned butter. So I'm gonna heat this. This is the Kerrygold regular, and uh, if you guys are here in anywhere close to Phoenix and your Costco has the unsweetened Kerrygold butter in the silver container, please leave me a message and a comment down below. Tell me which Costco that is, what street it's on, so I can go buy some, excuse me, because I want some. Anyway, I'm going to make brown butter. I'm gonna put it in this little pan. I'm gonna let it cool in the refrigerator, then I'm gonna whip it with my blender so that the caramelization uh, protein pieces and bits get blended all the way through it like whipped butter and it's going to be whipped butter is better especially if it's browned whipped butter yes indeed no, so that's what i'm doing basically i'm just getting my butter going here get my butter melted in my red copper pan takes about 20 minutes and we've got 30 so we've got time to get this butter melted and delicious tasting and you guys my bread looks beautiful let's see it it really does you look through that somebody needs to do a cleaning on my stove yeah we gotta yeah. find somebody we gotta find somebody <clears throat> i need an oven cleaning fairy i need an oven cleaning fairy godmother well my wings aren't working right now that's right you don't stir it. Once the butter is melted, you just kind of let it go. You drop the heat down. I'm just melting this butter. 
to get it started and then we'll get started with all of the phases that the butter goes through in order to brown. It'll foam, it'll bubble, it'll sizzle. Toil in trouble. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. I want brown butter on the double. Yes. Ooh, you're a poet, don't know it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, you guys come back when well, we got some brown butter. Yeah. And some bread. It's bubbling. I've got it down to on my burner number three which is medium low. Whoops, it's about, wait, it's spinning. Oh, you're gonna get it, it on already, your lens. Man. Gonna get it on your lens, dear. Means I get a new lens. My bread is gonna be yellow, butter yellow. And I don't really care because it's gonna be absolutely delicious. And just like all of the protein breads, when they come out of the oven, what are you shaking your head for, Harry? Because some people like it to look like bread because they give it to the rest of their family. Like you? Like me. Oh, you're silly. You're so silly. We're brown and butter now. I can't wash the top of the bread. I know you guys think I'm mean. I'm so mean to Harry, but he doesn't get he doesn't get it washed. I like it the color it is. I'm sorry. Sorry. I am the cook. I have spoken. Oh, you put okay, Harry, here's the deal. You I will never make you eat any of my bread or my brown butter. So if you don't like the way it looks, I am not gonna force you to eat not even one bite of my bread. No matter how delicious and how yummy it tastes, you do not have to try it or eat it. That's all I'm saying. You just stay strict BBB hardcore. And when I eat my toast in the morning with smeared melted brown butter, I'll be thinking of you. Yes, I will. I don't want to have you feel bad, honey. Oh, that's so nice. I of want me. you to have what you want, and I want me to have it's what that I want. Caring you know? nature of right. yours, you know. Uh oh, what's that? That's, I got egg white on me. Spot of guiltiness there on I you? I am a. No, not at all. Uh huh. No, uh -huh. not at all. Uh -huh. It'll taste great. I'm just thinking about the other people who want to see what it looks like. Well, the other people Let's say they want to give it to their children or something. Then they and can the put some wa egg wash or some butter on it. Yes, they can. You're not, I, we don't have any children here. We have Sally Girl and she loves my bread just the way it is. Look at that. You can really see how brown it is right there. Now it's going to get real bubbly pretty soon, right? No, now it's going to stop bubbling. Think it's ready, come look. See the browning? Oh, yep. oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's brown. There's a fine line between burning and browning and you want it as brown as you can get it. Look at that, oh yeah. And that's that butter fat, the uh, protein solids that are there that are super brown and it's salty, delicious. That's what I'm going to blend back in to it to make my whipped butter. I want it whipped into my butter. So you guys, my bread has 16 minutes. My butter's got to set up in the fridge. Can you let it go into like almost a solid again or something? Yeah. And then I'm going to whip it so that it all whips together so the brown caramely goodness with the salt in it gets blended back into the ghee, which is the oil that separates from it. But let's look at this. This looks beautiful. Look at my bread. It is beautiful. <laughs> yep, looking getting up there. Okay, you guys, come back when it's bread. I love my pan. Look at this, you guys. You literally could wipe that out. Yep. It's beautiful. Love it. Come back when oh, it's bread. The timer went off at 40 minutes, but I want to check it. I want to feel the bread to see if it feels like it is done. Oh yeah, it's done. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, does that look buttery? Actually, I think that looks pretty. It is yellow bread. Looks delicious. Does look good. 
can't see it, but the, it's got crustiness. Oh man! That fell right okay, off there. look at the butter. Look at the butter in there. Man. Okay, I better here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I better put some of this underneath the bread. The cooling rack on my counter that I just cleaned for it to. Oh yeah, but talk about butter. So this is gonna probably have to be stored in the. Excuse me, bear, babe. In the refrigerator because. The one that I made with just a quarter of a cup of butter. Um, ooh, look at that. Look at this. Browned wow. butter. The butter wow. browned. Wow. You guys, it smells so good in here. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> ooh, yeah. Is it good? Mm. That crust is amazing. I'm so glad I did not butter it or put anything on it. It tastes like popcorn. Does it? Oh, yeah. It tastes like popcorn. Let me see it. Let me get in there and see it. Here, taste. Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really good. And that tastes like popcorn. Okay, you guys, I am going to put a timer on this. There's butter dripped everywhere. I'm gonna time this for 10 minutes. We're gonna get it cool. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna slice the bread open. But man, you guys, did you see this? Look, look at the butter, the browned butter in there. Look at all the hunks of brown butter. Yeah. That is a beautiful loaf. Ooh, yeah. It smells like popcorn. <gasps> like the top feels like popcorn. Mm. Is it hot? Yes, it's hot. But here, taste this. This I'm telling you, taste this little piece. Doesn't that taste like popcorn? Yeah. Could you spare it? I mean. Well, that I'm not gonna pull the hunk off the top. It was top. like two microns I'm thick. Not, I'm sorry, you don't get a whole hunk. Sorry. Sorry, dear. Sorry. Why well, just being Wendy's just not Wendy's picking on Marty today. Yeah, she's not being very fair, as usual. That's right. I'm never fair to you, you poor thing. You are so I feel so bad for you, honey. You don't have to really? eat here. That's right. You don't have you to You understand have any of the food you understand I my plight? Yes, I do. And you are welcome to go to McDonald's and eat hamburger patties. Yes instead of delicious bread with brown butter on it, which I'm going to have because I don't want I don't you to like worry McDonald's. about that. I don't like McDonald's. Well, I'm just One thing I like was their french fries. Harry? Before they We're not it. talking about those poisonous things. I know, it's what I'm anyway, saying. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you guys in the next segment when I cut the bread and we smear it with some butter. Yes, indeed. Let's try this bread. It's been 10 minutes. I'm very excited to try this bread. Look at that. Oh yeah. You're gonna do this about, today? Talk about buttered bread. This feels so good. Oh, this the dog's bread. ready. Oh man, I'm telling you. This bread feels fabulous. And it slices thin too. Always turn it over. Oh man. Mm mm mm. Oh, look at that. It's still it's still um, warm, but it is not soggy. It's nice and moist and delicious. Well. Mm. delicious bread. Maybe we need to go backwards and use less ingredients rather than more because this is delicious. Come over here. I want you to try this. Come on. Mm. 
That's good. Mm-hmm. That works. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Buttery, salty, good. Yeah, it's really good. I wonder how it tastes as toast. Well, I'm glad you asked because Definitely not dry. I'm gonna make some toast. Well, I was just gonna ask you if it is because you're having a hard time talking. I'm having a hard time talking because I don't want to do this. Oh, well, like you normally do? Mm hmm. Because you keep telling me I smack my lips. You do all the time. Well, I want to butter my toast with my butter, my brown butter. So I need to let this sit here a minute. Look at this. I want to share my bread with everybody. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the butter inside the bread because it's got bread. It's got yellow, yellow spots. It's too bright here. Yeah. Look at the brown butter, you guys. Wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? I just slowly let it continue to brown. I think this is the brownest I've ever gotten in my butter. Well, I don't know about that. You should smell it. It smells like oh, caramel. Yeah. It absolutely smells like caramel. You make a great fat bomb. Oh, I'm going to see if I can whip it or if it's too... Say that again. I'm going to see if I can whip it and see if it will whip up or if it's too soft still to whip. I'll be able to tell in a little bit. I'm trying to put my spoon somewhere. How about sopping up the butter? It's not plugged in and while you're doing that, is it? I knew you were going to ask me, so no, it's not. I just, that was a test you passed. That's a test you passed. And then pull out, make sure they're in there. Talk about mangled fingers. Uh-huh. I'll tell that Wendy is a graduate the left-handed school of home economics children in eighth grade I took home ec <laughs> <laughs> yeah you sure did doesn't like me it got to click in I okay I'm trying well you got the wrong one in the wrong freaking no, hole no I do not let me see the big one's in the big hole can you push yep, that in right. can you push that in come okay. back Took a man to fix that. Whip the butter. Look at that. Just want the butter whipped, you guys. Me. Great fat bomb. Let me tell you, this butter tastes amazing. Would you like one, Harry? Yeah, now what do you do with it? Mm. Oh my gosh. Come on, hand it over. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. Oh wow. Uh -huh. Heavenly like that, huh? Uh -huh. Whipped. It's only got two horns. So now this butter is all done, it's all whipped. Now what we are gonna do is before we put it away, we are going to make some toast. Yes, we are, because we're having toast and whipped brown butter today. Ooh, we're yeah. doing the BBBE hardcore bread with some whipped brown butter. Okay, we got the we got the bread here. Got the bread. It's 
going in. But while we're waiting for that, let's try some on here. Look. Looks good. Try it out. Mmm. Is that good? Mmm. You want to you want to share? That's that caramel butter popcorn bread. Mmm. Mmm. Bring the camera over here. I'm serious. Yeah. That's weird. What? It tastes just like popcorn, kind of. Brown, you that. It's like caramel popcorn, though. Mmm. 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 Man. She took it off. Did you see that? Hair. Because I love you. <laughs> yeah. But she almost put some on. Just taste testing for you here. Mmm. It does not need a lot of butter. Oh, that is really good. Oh my that goodness. is like amazing. You know that you? is amazing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh my God. Man. Mmm. Mm. That is wild. You guys, you've got to make this bread. You've got to make that butter right here. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. On and now we're gonna have toast. And then tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I can make French toast tomorrow. And we just have French toast mm -hmm. made with just eggs. Right. And fry it up in a pan, smear it in the butter. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that done? Uh no. I didn't think so. Didn't Too know soon. I didn't know how how uh it's bread. I know, but it's a thin one. But you guys, the bread is gonna have to go in the fridge because it is buttery. Oh yeah. <clears throat> buttery. It's too hot here to allow it just to sit. But man, man oh man oh man. Mm -mm -mm. That tastes like caramel corn butter. Yeah, it does. That tastes like the caramel corn and oh. the oozed butter in the bottom and you like the pan at the bottom. Yeah. That is what that tastes like. This tastes like popcorn, bread popcorn. <gasps> ooh, ooh, that's what I can do. Make little blobs of this bread and make, turn them into popcorn. Here. With my whipped brown butter. Oh, I'm whipping my butter all the time and I'm browning it from now on. I'm gonna put this in like a jar or something yeah. and keep it because oh my gosh. It is, it is, it is absolutely phenomenal, you guys. I'm telling you, it is phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. It even looks like it's got caramel in it, doesn't it? Yep. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh my goodness sakes. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the way. This, this is, is the, the way. way. It is. Taste a bite. Isn't that right, Mandalorian? Here. Isn't this the way? This is the way. You can't you hear me through that mask, man. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Amazing. Uh, Amazing! Yeah, it is. It's mm, okay. beyond belief there. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You guys, this is absolutely amazing. You have got to try it. Sometimes less is more, and the bread really reflects that. Yeah. It doesn't have a buttermilk taste. It's just the bread. But the butter carries it through. Using the melted butter on it, 
is amazing. The br that brown butter. That's all I'm saying. It's just amazing. You, you guys start, have to try it. You need to five, start making that in cubes. Five easy ingredients, too. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to finish my toast. And Sally would like some, too. Yeah, here. You know. Anyway, you guys, don't forget to <coughs> like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Hit the notification and all so you get notified every time we upload a video. Please remember to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Sally would like a piece. Yes, she would. Okay, here, let's, let's come over here. Oh, yes, she loves her bread. Okay, tell me what you think of that bread. What do you think? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says, yes, please. Okay, I'm right down. You gotta tell me, is it okay? Is that good? Would you like some more bread? What? I can't hear you. Okay.